I'm Robert Kirshner. I'm the Clues Professor of Science here at Harvard University, and I'm using the Hubble Space Telescope to study supernova explosions. Supernovae are the deaths of stars. They're extremely luminous. You can see them halfway across the universe. They stir up the gas between the stars. But one thing that's really interesting is that they make the heavy elements out of which we are made. So the iron that's in your blood, the calcium that's in your bones, the oxygen that you're breathing, those very nuclei were made in supernovae that exploded before the sun formed. My favorite moment came when we saw a supernova in 1987A with the Hubble Space Telescope. The supernova went off in 1987. Space Telescope was launched in 1990. So we were looking at it a couple years after the explosion and we had formed some ideas about what it might look like. But our imagination was very far short of reality. When you actually looked at the photograph, it turns out it has this beautiful ring of emission around it that is the result of gas that was lost from the star before the explosion being lit up by the light from the supernova explosion itself. It's great to see one image from supernova 1987A, but when you have data over a long period, over 25 years, that lets you make a movie that shows you, a time-lapse movie that shows you how things have changed. And what's changed is that the debris has gotten bigger, the ring lit up when the pressure wave, the shock wave from the explosion got there, and now the ring is starting to fade, which we think means that it's breaking up and that if you come back 25 years from now, you're not going to see the same picture. Do you have a picture of 1987A in your house? I have not only a picture of supernova 1987A, I have a ceramic tile. This is an image of supernova 1987A made in this tile by one of my colleagues, Dick McRae, and it shows the debris in the center, it shows the hot spots glowing uh, in the ring around the supernova, and it shows the outer rings and nearby stars too. It's a great feeling to look at supernova 1987A. First of all, it's a beautiful thing. Secondly, you understand that this is something that you, you just have never, we've never seen before. But I think the future is going to be even more interesting. We're going to see the destruction of that ring, and more to the point, we're going to get a better and better look into the center. We think the supernova formed a neutron star. We haven't seen it yet. I hope that our space telescope images will show it to us sometime in the near future. <laughs>